Hi, this is Elijah Manor, and welcome to Mannerisms. In this video, we'll look at how to set up VS Code to lint and style an app bootstrapped by Create React App with ESLint and Prettier. So let's get started. To begin, let's quickly bootstrap a new app with Create React App. Once it's generated, we'll CD into our app folder and open up our editor, VS Code. First, we'll focus on integrating ESLint. It's a really handy, pluggable linting tool that was created by Nicholas Zakis back in 2013. So let's install the ESLint extension from VS Code. And we'll reload the new extension. Now we need to create an ESLint RC file to keep our ESLint settings. By default, Create React App uses its own set of rules, so we'll extend those, called React App. At this point, ESLint is integrated into our editor. Now you could come into your editor and start to type some questionable code. And the editor will underline it, indicating that there's something wrong. Then you could hover over the issue to learn more. If you go to the terminal and kick up the development server via npm start, it'll automatically lint your code as well, and you'll see the same warning. At this point, you might be tempted to go in your ESLint RC file and start to add your own set of custom rules, such as no console. But if we went ahead and typed a console log in our code editor, it'll indeed spot the problem. However, if we come back to the terminal, we won't see the additional warning. Why is that? Well, when we created our app with Create React App, it installed a package called React-Scripts. That includes all the config settings for ESLint, Babel, and Webpack. So, if you wanted to tweak your ESLint rules, both in your editor and in your terminal, then you would either need to eject the app, use a forked version of React Scripts, or use React App Rewired. Now let's shift to Prettier. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter. One of the beauties of it is that it works really well across many languages, and there are only a few options available which may seem like a downside at first, but in the end, it's really refreshing to not worry about the right formatting standard and just pick something that works well, is consistent, and has a lot of integrations. So first, we'll install the pre extension for VS Code and then reload. Our approach here will be to let ESLint run prettier for JavaScript files and then let the pre extension format the rest of the files like CSS, Markdown, etc. Let's go ahead and install some dependencies that we'll need. From the terminal, we'll npm install, or i for short, prettier, eslint config prettier, and eslint plugin prettier, with dash dash save dash dev to indicate that they're dev dependencies, or dash capital D for short. And then we'll go back into our eslint rc file. We'll want to add prettier to our extends, That'll turn off any ESLint rules that may be in conflict with Prettier. And then we'll add the Prettier slash Prettier rule that comes with the Prettier plugin. This will run the Prettier tool as an ESLint rule and reports differences as issues. As it turns out, this is a pretty common setup, so there's a shorthand syntax of just extending plugin colon Prettier slash recommended. Before we go and test out these settings, there are some VS Code user settings that we need to tweak. A quick way to navigate to your user settings is command comma on a Mac or control comma on Windows or Linux. First, we'll add editor.formatonsave to true. This will allow us to auto format with Prettier since we have it installed every time we save a file. However, we do want to turn off the Prettier extension for JavaScript files since we set up ESLint to handle that for us. Then we'll also turn on ESLint autofix on save as well to fix any issues that it can if they're found. We'll also tell ESLint to always show its status to keep us informed. Next, we'll explicitly ask Prettier to disable itself for JavaScript files, but we do want to keep it enabled for all other languages such as CSS, Markdown, and others. Lastly, I like to have my files autosave when the focus is changed. With all these changes made, let's go out and take it for a spin. We can open our app.js file and start making a mess. In particular, let's mess up the JSX and see what happens. 
and we'll take out all the indentation. And then I'll save, and voila, it looks great. Even the JSX got cleaned up. Now let's try a CSS file. I'll take out all the indentation here, and save, and again, it looks great. Lastly, let's try a markdown file. Here, we'll add a numbered list of items, and then we'll start to put them out of order. And then we'll add some fence code blocks of JavaScript and CSS. Of course, badly formatted. And here, I'll manually kick off the formatter. And amazing, it cleaned up my markdown. So cool. Next, let's redirect our attention to using Prettier from the command line. But first, let's initialize our project with Git. OK, now let's install a couple of handy tools. npm install husky lint staged capital D. These tools will allow us to integrate into Git hooks and run Prettier only against files that have been staged in Git, instead of running Prettier against your whole project every time. All right, let's navigate to our package.json file and add a new npm script called pre-commit. This is one of the special Husky hooks that lets us execute a script right before our code is committed. In this case, we'll say that we want lint staged to run. But we haven't configured it yet, so let's do that now. We'll tell lint staged if any files are staged that happen to match these types in our source directory, then run prettier dash dash write, and then add them back to get. So if I go ahead and commit all the things, you'll see that Prettier indeed did execute. However, that happened to be all the files since this was our first ever commit on this repo, which isn't too impressive. So let's go into Vim and tweak some code. The reason I'm using Vim is that I've set up VS Code to automatically format on save, and I haven't done that for Vim. I'll come in here and write some poorly formatted code, and then I'll save and hopefully be able to exit, and then commit our messy code. And you'll notice that Prettier did run, but it didn't run against the whole project again, but only the file that was being staged at that time. And when I come back into VS Code, we'll see that it doesn't look messy anymore. Yay! Again, this seems to be a pretty common setup, so there's an easier way. If you npm install pretty-quick as a dev dependency, you could come back into your package.json file and remove the whole lint stage section and replace lint stage in the pre-commit script as pretty-quick dash dash staged. Under the covers, pretty quick compares any staged files with the officially supported prettier file types and formats them. And then it adds any resulting changes back to Git as we manually did before. We could test this again by going into Vim, and this time we'll tweak one of our CSS files. Here, I'll come in and add a crazy Z index, you know, because we really want it to be on top. Then we'll save and commit our very indented code. And pretty quick, we'll do its thing. Thanks for watching this video. ESLint and Prettier are great tools, and it's really handy to have them available in your editor, as well as set up to run in the terminal. I listed several resources in the video. You can find a list of them in the YouTube description. If you want to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified. In the meantime, feel free to reach out on Twitter at Elijah Manor. Until then, have a blessed day.